Jones, you know all the answers, don't you? You know all the answers. Why don't you open your eyes and speak to me? I can't bear it any longer. I don't even know. I don't know what's happening to me. Good morning, Valerie. Good morning, Quinn. I... I just met a friend of yours, a man named Gerard Stiles. Oh, Gerard, was he here this morning? Yes, he was. Yes. How long have you known him? Oh, about a year. Is it possible that he has... Mm -hmm. of psychic powers? <laughs> I think he wants to uh, make everyone believe that he has psychic powers, but I've yet to see any evidence of it. Although he is uh, very interested in the occult. Why do you ask? Oh, I don't know. He just made a very strange impression on me, that's all. Well, you better watch out for that man. He uh, fancies himself as a ladies' man, you know. Quentin! Yes, Father? Quentin! Yes. Have what you heard it? the terrible news about Roxanne? Good Lord. No one is safe outside anymore. Do they know how she was attacked? No, no. It's still a complete mystery. Strange how her death is similar to those I remember when I was a boy. Now, don't start imagining things. I'm not imagining anything. I remember the incidents very clearly. It was in the year 1797. The village was in an uproar. There was a whole series of these vicious attacks. And each victim had two marks left on his neck and suffered a tremendous amount of blood. You remember the incident, don't you? Now, Father, how would Valerie know anything about uh, what happened in your childhood? I'm sorry, I, I, I have made a mistake. I, I must have been thinking of someone else. I, I have not been well since I heard the news. You must forgive me. I, I mean to take this up with the authorities. It's our tax money they're using. They should use it to settle this matter once and for all. Father hasn't been himself lately. Nor has anyone else in this house. And I think I need a drink. I will wait for you again. Under the tree. Bowery, uh, how long have you been here? About an hour. Uh, has anyone been in here while you've been here? Only you and Dagger. Was anyone here when you came in? Yes, Gerard Stiles. Are you sure uh, no one came in and left anything? Well, no. Why? Why are you acting so mysterious? Oh, it's Something nothing. Wrong? No, no, no. Uh, look, will you excuse me? I'll, I'll be back later if anyone asks for me. so concerned about what is going to happen to me. If anything happens, I am in total control. I am the only living thing here in this room. And I'm the only one that has a mind that is functioning. <laughs> you are a disembodied head. That's all. And whatever powers you may have, they will soon be mine. And you will do my bidding. <laughs> and to think that I was such a fool to be afraid of you. What a complete fool. Joe. 
Joanna. Joanna? Mr. Collins. What are you doing here? Well, I was just out for a walk. Why did you come to this particular spot? Well, I don't know. I didn't notice where I was. Are you sure you didn't come here by design? You didn't know that I would be here. Well, of course not. You took me completely by surprise. Mr. Collins, if I've done something wrong... No, no, you... Uh, I'm very sorry. You haven't done anything wrong. I, I just thought that uh, you were someone else. Someone named Joanna? Yes. But, uh, of course, that's impossible. Because you are not Joanna. I'm... Uh, I'm sorry for getting angry. It's all right. Mr. Collins, I still have the feeling that you're troubled by something. And... Well, does it have anything to do with this person, this Joanna? Yes, it does, but, uh, well, it's a burden that uh, you don't have to bear. And anyway, it, uh, it all has to do with the past, and so I think it's best forgotten. Very well, then I shan't mention it again. You know something? Well, it is very strange that you would come to this spot quite by accident. I suppose I wandered out this way because it's so quiet and peaceful. Yes. It always was. Tell me, are you happy here at Collinwood? Whatever makes you ask that? Oh, I don't know. I... I guess I've been very impressed by you. I just want to make sure that you're happy. Most of the time, I... What do you mean, most of the time? Well, it seems quite clear to me that Mrs. Collins resents my presence. Now, you perhaps. listen to me. Mrs. Collins didn't hire you, I did. If she gives you any problem, you tell me at once. Do you understand that? Yes, I understand. I'll walk you back to Collinwood. No, that's all right. I, I think I'll stay here a while longer. All right. Good day. house of Collinwood, those who knew of the evil head of Judah Zachary sleep easier tonight, thinking the head has been destroyed. They do not know that Gerard Stiles has found the head, and Gerard has just wakened from a frightening dream in which he saw his own head in the glass case, while Judah Zachary stood outside looking at him. Now Gerard wakes, terrified, to lift the cover from the case. Will his own head be there? Must 
just tell me what it meant. My dream. Why were you on the outside of the case? Why? Tell me. Tell me what it means. You must let me know what it means. Do you like it? It's smashing. It does make me look older, doesn't it? Oh, much older. Uh, see, I, I think you could pass for uh, 32. That's too old. That's ancient. Careful. Oh, I didn't mean you. There's some people I, I just don't think of as old. Like you and your mother. Oh, she was so nice to me in Boston. She bought me this, and, and she took me to so many places. Honestly, I... I thought it was wrong to have so much fun with Grandfather Ben just gone. But, but Flora said he, he would have wanted me to, to have a good time. I, I don't suppose you, uh, you know if Gerard is in the house. I don't keep track of Gerard. Don't you like him? Desmond, I... Well, come in, come in. Hey, oh, you two haven't met, have you? Uh, this is Carrie Stokes, Daphne Herridge, your new governess. Hello, Carrie, welcome back. Ted's told me so much about you, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Hello, Miss Herridge. Well, if you'll excuse me, there's someone I have to see. <sighs> Ted said she was so friendly. I... I don't think I made a very good first impression. Oh, I think that she has just decided to grow up. Now, did you come for her or to see me? Actually, you. Well, the perfect answer. You see, Desmond, when I was working for the newspaper, I made a mistake. I never should have let you take those copies from the office. I've got to return them. I am not going to give you them back. Not for hours. You are going to fill a very miserable evening. What powers do you hold? You will tell me. <laughs> yes, you will. And you're afraid, aren't you? You're afraid that I'll use them. The battle between us... Who is it? Who is it? Hello, Gerard. What do you want? I, I just came to say hello. At your service, Miss Stokes. Oh, Gerard, I missed you so. I mustn't do that. I... Flora keeps telling me I... I'm growing up. I... I have to remember that. I am, aren't I? And much prettier. Do you really think so? I never lie. Well, one thing Boston did teach me was I'm too old for a governess. Oh, Gerard Flora took me to see a play in Boston. There was an actor in it. He died for love. He looked exactly like you. And the woman was much younger than he. You didn't listen. I'm afraid I did. I, I was... You were talking about a play, yes. Something's wrong. N nothing's wrong. I, listen, you interrupted me, that's all. I was I was in a hurry to do finish some up some things. You want me to leave, don't you? Just for now, yes. I thought you were going to be happy to see me. And you didn't even say anything about my new dress. I'm sorry. It, it's lovely. You're lovely. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
I will walk, speak. Tonight I will live again. Is it my writing? It's his? You won't live through me. You won't possess me. Ever! Ever! That's because you never heard them read by the great Desmond. I was here when your mother read Quentin Collins. Well, she did not learn them from the gypsies on the plains of Macedonia as I did. For mother, the cards are blank. For me, they throb with life. Thank you, but no, Desmond. I really must find Karen. Not yet. You haven't told me whether you like Collinwood or not. I like it very much. That is a lie. The card says so. Oh, but I do like it. Well, you must be honest with me, at least while I hold the cards. Well, it's just that Mr. Collins, Quentin, he's such a strange man. He's unpredictable and moody. Well, if I were married to Samantha, I would be too. He's been unhappy. He should have left her. He's a Collins, family pride. Besides, he never really had any compelling reason to leave. Didn't he? None at all. 